Number 304 in Indicator Range, uh, the fifth movie from the Columbia Noir set is The Garment Jungle and this one was exceptionally thrilling. Um, a kind of movie that when it started I didn't see how it was going to be as compelling as it was but it turned out to be absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is all about uh, Lee J. Cobb's character who is Walter Mitchell. He is the owner of a garment business and he is one of the few companies that hasn't gone union and he is intertwined with mob people uh, to make sure that you know the union stays away and that people stay within the confines of the way he wants them to work within his business and his son Alan turns up played by Kerwin Matthews and he wants to join the family business, he's eager to do so and in doing so he kind of sees that there's a little bit of a seedy underbelly starting to appear within this business as well and he meets Tulio played by uh, Robert Loggia and um, he kind of has a connection with his character, you know he's, he's kind of straight suiting, he doesn't want uh, to be heavy handed with these people, he wants to be part of the business, he wants to be uh, within that but he doesn't want to do the nefarious kind of things that it seems as though his dad is starting to do. And of course, uh, Tulio's wife Teresa is in the movie as well, who he has a connection with uh, throughout the story. And this becomes a really thrilling movie as we see a father and son reconnect, as we see um, some people trying to do the right for their workers, as we see the mob and how they kind of slowly in and infect everything uh, round about them, turning people poisonous uh, against each other and creating just a bad atmosphere. And it is thrilling, edge of the seat thrilling. You, you get some really fun and exciting set pieces. There is a brilliant set piece, which is a rather simple scene. It's when Teresa, Tulu's wife, is moving home. Uh, she's moving in with her mother-in-law and they're just her and Alan are walking up the stairs conversing as they're doing so and the camera just pans up all these flights of stairs um, and it's just a wonderful shot and it's not flashy, it's not in your face, it's just a great piece of direction on this one. Uh, there is a scene with the union trying to stand up against the mob uh, and there is a trap set and it turns deadly and effect really fun. Uh, and even the finale kind of ramps up into a tense moment as well. There's rooftop chases, uh, there is family drama as, as people uh, grow apart and then suddenly realise the error of their ways and come together in a really fun manner. I had so much fun with The Garment Jungle. Um, one of my favourites of this set so far, it just kind of blew me away how fascinating it was uh, watching the wealth of characters that we had here and how they all kind of worked together, how some of the people um, felt compelled to, to be a little bit harsher, like the foreman within uh, the, this garment business here that we see is almost siding with the bosses a lot of the time and kind of pushing his uh, peers to the side as, as he kind of knows what's best for them but just kind of doesn't do what's needed to be done to help them out. You get a wonderful performance from Cobb, uh, a great performance from Matthews, uh, I think Robert Loggia uh, is pretty fantastic as well. Gia Scarla, uh, Scala, sorry, is uh, Teresa and I think she's wonderful throughout the movie. She has this steely glare. Um, there's several moments of, of just quietness from her that are really intense. There's a moment with uh, Alan and Teresa in a cab as they're driving away from the, the picket line and she just has this intense look in her eyes as she almost stares off to the distance. Alan's next to her trying to converse. It's not working. She is focused, laser focused on uh, what's in her mind and it is it's just it's just a powerhouse of a kind of performance. I really enjoyed it. This this is a movie that moves really quickly as well. That has uh, some great antagonists, some great protagonists, some great turns from the characters. Characters that felt really developed that I was really invested in. Uh, 
wonderful action set pieces like the rooftop chase, the setup from the Union, uh, the elevator crash at the start of the movie. It's all these wonderful moving parts that come together to create a really exciting thriller uh, with some great character moments. I utterly love this one. I'd love to know your thoughts on The Garment Jungle. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man V Film.